Fast and Furious franchise, as you know, has many familiar faces, including Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson. Now the eighth installment, The Fate of the Furious, welcomes a new star, Oscar-winning actress Charlize Theron. You ready? One thing I can guarantee, no one's ready for this. Every action movie needs a bad guy, or in the case of The Fate of the Furious, a bad girl. I gotta tell you, this whole saving the world Robin Hood nonsense you've been doing recently, it's not you. You are the first female villain in a Fast and Furious movie. How That's does, what they tell me, yeah. How, what, how does that feel? It's good. I, I mean, it's good. It's good. It's, it's, uh, it's an honor. Men kind of own this real estate. And so it's nice to finally kind of have a studio back a woman to go and play a psychotic villain. Charlize Theron plays Cypher, a hacker with evil intentions. You see, your team is about to go up against the only thing they can't handle. What's that? You. You play a villain in this movie. You played a villain in the Huntsman movies. Is there something you're trying to tell us? Yeah, but I have also been doing this for 20 years plus, so it's not too bad, right? <laughs> it's not too bad. It's just, yeah, this is like my uh, Picasso blue period. This is like my villain period, yeah. With this movie, Theron stepping into the eighth chapter of a wildly popular franchise, a new addition to a familiar family. Michelle Rodriguez was actually really funny and great. She was just kind of every day just cheering me on and asking me if I was being as bad as I needed to be. And it was a really good experience. Are you discovering just how passionate these uh, fans are? Yeah, I mean, I thought I knew, but this is like on a whole different level. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. How's that honeymoon going, Dom? Part of the film is set in Havana, the first major studio movie shot in Cuba since the U.S. embargo was imposed in 1963. A welcome experience for Theron, the South African actress once produced a documentary about the country. I like the people a lot. They remind me of um, Africans, of South Africans particularly. They're resilient and they're full of life. Um, and they're just really warm people. Cuba also has its own distinctive car culture, making it the perfect setting for a series that lives on wheels, even if Theron's character does not. These movies are known for intense car chase scenes, incredible fight scenes. Do you do any of that in this movie? I do nothing. I sit like this in a chair and I do, I say mean things. This should be interesting. And leave the stunts to everyone else. Yeah, they do it so well. Like, I'm not going to try and mess with something that's working that well. I have to say that you do, like, aggressively type. I do aggressively type. That's because I don't know how to type. Thanks for pointing that out. So I just thought, go aggressive. But she's all action in Atomic Blonde, a movie due out this summer that called for three months of heavy-duty training. Can we officially call you Charlize Theron, action star? Wow. Um... I'm not going to say no to that. As she says yes to her villainous side in this blockbuster franchise. Be who you are. Why well, live only a quarter mile at a time when you can live your whole life that way? Theron says she did have fun playing a character outside of the norm, someone who she says takes a sledgehammer to the relationships formed by all of the other characters in the franchise. The Fate of the Furious from our sister company Universal hits theaters on Friday. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.